Hello folks, let's have a look at our five favorite Scrambler style motorcycle helmets for 2023. If you're riding an adventure bike, a Scrambler, even a street bike, these may well tickle your fancy. I'll explain all of their details as we go. Dedicated videos for any of these can be found in the description and I'll give you their sizing information at the very end. Let's get started. Let's start with the OG of this lineup then, the original, and if we're being honest, what a lot of these other helmets take their influence from. This is the Bell Moto 3. Based on their original helmet from the 1970s, it carries off that style excellently. It still has all of that charm and authenticity. But of course, being Bell, it is a quality product brought right up to date. Now this has been hard to find actually for about a year or so in key sizes at least. We've now got it back in stock. You can find it on the Urban Rider website and this is the new ECE 2206 safety standard version. So like I say, you have all of that classic style but modern safety attached. Talking of style, you have a variety of different colorways and actually some really nice collaborations. And that's something you might wanna keep an eye on in the future as well, because they do obviously release new colorways. That'll be true of all of these helmets, but do check the current colorways on the Urban Rider website. As of the making of this, they come in at a starting price of £299.99. And two of the colorways or collaborations that have really caught my eye are the Atwild or the Fast House collaborations. Some features across this you might want to take note of are the fact that it has a five stud system for the peak attachment at your forehead there. It comes with a peak included, so you can put that on or take it off if you prefer to ride without. On the rest of these helmets, you will notice there are actually just three press studs. So you can't mix and match the visors from the Bell Moto 3 to these other helmets or vice versa. But you can find a variety of options from Bell themselves. There are some common themes you'll find across all of these helmets. And the reason this scrambler or classic motocross style of helmet is so popular is the feeling of freedom that you get. They're very open on the front. You get the same sort of level of freedom that you'll find in the likes of an open face, but of course you've got that added protection of a chin bar. You've got vents on the chin. They are non-closable, so they're always open, allowing a lot of airflow through. And that is true of all of these. You will more than likely want to couple it with goggles. As you can see, we've got the bar stow on here. I'll explain a little bit more on that at the very end. And something else I quite like on the bell that differentiates it from the rest is the removable cloth liner on the inside. I do find that nice and comfortable. If it's a helmet you're gonna be quite active in and sweating in, it is nice that you can remove it and that cloth liner is very comfortable on. Check it out using the links if you want to. Now let's move on to the next. Next up, we have quite a modern take on this Scrambler style, the HJC V60, and it's the newest helmet to us in this bracket, and also passes ECE 2206 safety standards. At the time of making this video, they come in at £269.99, although I believe they are price matched on the website at the moment. It's worth saying at this point that we do price match, and you will find the cheapest price in the UK on our website if you follow the links. You will also find a variety of colors, although I have to say, I think it is the solid colorways that stand out to me a little bit more, or at least catch my taste. I quite like the fact that you've got understated branding across this. It is a very clean looking helmet. One of the only nods to the HJC brand, in fact, is this badge on your left side. I would say that this has a slightly larger shell size than some of the other helmets you will see here, but in its favor, it does come in three different shell sizes, and they've grouped the size medium and large together for shell size. Quite often what you'll find is the jump in shell size happens between medium and large, and they're quite common sizes, meaning that when you buy a large, it is a bigger looking helmet. In this case, the medium and large share the same shell size, so it does help it look a little bit more slimline. This helmet also comes with an included peak, much like the bell. As I say, it has three press studs on the forehead instead of the five you'll find on the bell. The other big benefit is that it comes with a drop down sun visor. And the difference actually, I will address the showy in a few moments, but this one comes with a tinted visor, which is my preferred option because likely you're gonna be using that in the daytime and you'll want it to block out some of these sun's glare. Now you don't have to use that if you don't want to, you can couple it with goggles and I would say it's probably recommended to also have goggles as an option if you were to wear this. Something else we found trying this on amongst the team is it has one of the snuggest fits for your face and I actually really like the liner on this one. It is an extremely comfortable fit. Moving on.
Next on our list, we have a very similar helmet in terms of fit and function. This is the Shoei X0. Seen here in the Equation colorway, they do this one in some really nice styles and some limited runs actually on a few of those styles. And they have a starting price of £399.99 as of the making of this video. It does have a slightly different look to the HJC or the rest of the helmets you can actually see here. It has quite an aggressive style, especially on that chin bar really like the look of that. But where it's similar to the HJC is in the fact that it has a drop down visor in there. Comes in clear as standard. You can buy some tints if you want. I think I would prefer it in a tint, as I say for the HJC, I think it's useful that it will block out some of the sun's glare, but still usable all the same. And it does help an awful lot in blocking out that wind rush to your eyes. Of course, like the HJC, you don't have to just use that. You can fit goggles in here. I think for me, the biggest thing that helps this helmet stand out is just how universal the fit is on this one. We've tried it amongst a lot of our team and they all say this is really comfortable instantly. You will also notice on the underside that you've got these emergency tabs for the emergency services to get your helmet off a little bit easier if they need to. Definitely appreciate details like that. Moving on. Next up, we have the most affordable option on this table. This is the Buy City The Rock. And at the time of making this video, they start at 165 pounds. They're also joint lightest with the DMD. They both sit around the 1100 gram mark, which is very impressive for weight. You don't have a lot of options for color with this helmet, but the colors they actually do are very nice. It's also definitely one of the cleanest designs. You don't see a lot of branding across this at all. And it has a fairly unique look. I do like the vents on the chin bar, for example. They're very eye-catching. You've got a really large opening on the front, making it very easy to fit goggles. And you have quite a pleasing suede liner on the inside as well. You can, of course, get a peak for it if you want to include it. And it also has this strap at the back. If you are wearing goggles, you can fix that to the back of your helmet so it doesn't come off. Fantastic value for money and a really pleasing style. Let's move on to the next. And last up, of course, we have the DMD 75 with a starting price of 269 pounds. As I mentioned, these are joint lightest with the Bio City, noticeably quite a light helmet at around 1100 grams. And the really big USP to DMD are the extensive range of color options you've got. You have some quite outlandish designs as well if you wanna go that route, or you can go for some more subtle colorways if you prefer. They also have a premium line of helmets, the Oro line of helmets. They do cost a little bit more, but they've got a more premium liner on them and a really nice finish. Again, you have these studs on your forehead for attaching a peak if you want to. Best paired with goggles. You can use sunglasses as well if you want to protect your eyes. And I would say in terms of the silhouette, this has the closest chin bar. So it is a slightly different shape than some of the other ones that you'll see on this table. So it does stand out. Now I have mentioned goggles, but let me be a little bit clearer on what you might want to pair this with. So for all of these helmets, the idea with this style of helmet is that you've got the big opening on the front, you can very easily pair it with goggles. The biggest goggles we stock are the 100% Barstow, as you can see on the bell. And the HJC, the Bell, the Shoei, the Bi City, all fit the Barstow goggles easily. They come in a variety of different colors and they keep updating that and they are a quality product, definitely good to look at, but they will not fit with the DMD. Now on this one, you'll see, I've actually paired it with the Barifaldi Speed 4, which it does fit, but a word of caution on that, where I mentioned shell size earlier, this is one of those helmets that changes between medium and large. If you go for the large shell size, then you will be able to fit the Speed 4. It's a bit of a squeeze on the medium, although you can actually couple it together. What I'd probably recommend with the DMD though, in particular, is actually pairing it with their own goggles, which definitely do fit this helmet. If you are looking to buy one of these for yourself though, you will want to know about sizing, so let me give you some pointers on that. When it comes to the actual helmet size, just measure your head size in centimeters and choose the appropriate size in the helmet. When it comes to your head shape though, that is slightly different in that there is a spectrum. People are either round fitting, 
oval fitting, or most people sit somewhere in the middle where they have what we would describe as an intermediate oval fit, like myself, where it is slightly longer than it is wide. Now, if that describes you, then any one of these helmets will suit you because they are, broadly speaking, somewhere in the middle of that spectrum. However, if you are on the extreme end and you have a really round fitting head, then we would urge you towards either the DMD or the Bi City because they have a slightly rounder fit. If you're on the other end of that spectrum and you have a really long fitting head, like Lauren's in our team, then we would urge you towards either the HJC or the Shoei. For anyone else, as long as it's the right size, it is gonna fit you well. Links can be found in the description. Let us know your favorite in the comments section or any you feel like we missed out on, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.